Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev, welcome to this new let's play of Imperialism 2, and uh, yeah, quite a few of you have requested that we try this game again, so we're gonna do that, and as you can see, we're already inside the game itself, for a good reason, you see, I, well, you also, some of you at least, also wanted me to try playing at a slightly different difficulty setting, so this is now on impossible, <laughs> that's the difficulty setting we're at, um, and I didn't want to play this unless I had a viable start. Let's see if we can go and check. Not here. Dang it, where is it? No, it's here, no, it's here somewhere. Difficulty settings, there we go. Just to show you this is, is now on impossible. Uh, first of all, the basic stuff is the same as on normal, obviously. Random events are on. Food, eco food luxury economy are complex, so people will get sick or die if they don't have the right foods. No extra income, no slower development for the AI, and then everything else is set to impossible. The AI is miles ahead of us in diplomacy, in technology, in research rates, in military, in warehouse, stockpiles, treasuries. They can have tons of extra money from deficit spending. And so on and so forth. It's basically incredibly difficult to deal with. Uh, the worst part is probably this one. Special AI rules. Aggressive game. The AIs will come and kill you dead. At, at the... Uh, yep. Yeah, pretty much after about three or so hours, they have built up a decent amount of army, and I'll just see, oh, which player is the weakest target, and inevitably that's going to be the human player, and it doesn't matter if you even build up an army, it doesn't matter, you're going to be the weakest player, because the AIs will ally each other, so <laughs> you'll always be the weakest link. There is one case, one single case, where that can be avoided, as far as I can, um, I can tell, and that is if... Uh, two of the AIs ally two other of the AIs, so we have like four power blocks, it's gonna be two blocks with two AIs in it, one other AI and you. And then the other AI declares war on you first, and you somehow make that other AI weaker than you. That's the only scenario where you aren't the dog pile target. So I fully expect around 1600 or so it will be war with, with war with every player. So with that in mind, um, given that the AI is gonna cheat like crazy here, I'm gonna cheat a clack crazy too. And by that I mean save reload if need be. And that's also why I've started already. I needed a location that uh, was more or less perfect. And this is that. It's still turn one. As you can see, uh, we are gonna get a ton of food from this placement. And we need that. It, the only thing that could have been better. Actually, no, this, this is the perfect start, to be honest, because we get five grain and five meat. Uh, the, the only potential better improvement would be have had to have more river squares, but <laughs> uh, I think that is beyond the capacity of the random world generator, because I've been generating a lot of worlds in the last few weeks. And I've also been playing quite a few games on Impossible, just to try to learn how to play the darn thing on that setting. And inevitably, inevitably I fail. Because as soon as you get to become the dog pile target, it's over. You'll, you won't be able to defend yourself. So, I'm gonna give it one more try on oh, Impossible. Again, I'm cheating since I've already started the game and yeah, that's, that's the amount of cheating I've done so far. That plus, uh, actually, yeah, full disclosure. I have tried this map out a bit earlier, so I know a few of the mineral deposits. I had to do that because if you don't have cast iron, if you don't have access to iron, if you don't have access to tin, and if you don't have access to copper, you're screwed. That's it's so sim that simple. And the same thing is true for access to all the other resources. If you don't have access to horses, you're screwed. It has to be somewhere in your country. And as for the uh, the iron ore, it has to be within like seven tiles of your capital. If there isn't one, you're dead. Simple as that. Uh, so I know a few of the deposits. I know there's some cast iron up in these hills here. I know there's a tin deposit there, and I know there's a copper deposit somewhere down here. I don't quite recall. That, that's what I know. I, I, I had to explore that much just to know if this start was viable. So, now you know. As I said, I'm cheating. And you're gonna see I'm gonna need to do that. Because we have so few starting resources. It is tragic, to be honest. Then right, let's explore that tin, because I know it's there. Uh, so we're gonna make a road up there. And then over to the forest, because we need the timber. Uh, so we're gonna gather the timber first. 
and we're gonna set sail into the new world. Now, even if I knew, I haven't, I haven't actually explored the new world, so I don't know quite what's over there. But even if I knew exactly where the gem deposits and all that stuff were, it wouldn't matter, because on Iron Impossible, you start with nothing. That's your army. One peasant levy. And he can't even defeat an, a clubman. He might succeed on a province defended only by two archers. That's the only New World province I think you could conquer. And the chance of finding that is pretty much zilch. Because you can't actually study the province, the province, uh, province defenders that much. At any rate, that's that complaint over with. <laughs> So, what are we going to do then? As you can see with the warehouses, there's pretty much no resources. We are going to sacrifice and make one paper. Because I do want to train one more explorer. So that we can find things. Uh, we are also going to train or make more cloth. We're going to need that. Fabric, rather. We are going to need to increase our workforce. That's a good thing right now. We are actually transporting more food than we have population. Woohoo! And that's only because we have the perfect start with five of each resource. Couldn't have gotten any better on Iron Impossible. Because, uh, as you saw, we start with only level 1 uh, farming gathering here, Tex. So you can only gather one grain per farm, one meat per cattle, cattle ranch. Unlike the AIs, which, which have level 3 gathering. So they'll harvest three times the amount of food that we do. Even if they don't have the perfect start, they're going to be miles ahead of us. That's just how it's going to be. So it's going to be a lot of catch up, and hopefully we'll avoid the dog pile. That's pretty much the only thing. But that won't happen for a couple of hours of play. The AIs will just grab the gold, grab all the stuff, become incredibly powerful, and then kill you. <laughs> we'll see if we can survive. I don't think so, but we'll try. Okay, at any rate, we start with pretty much nothing. Let's see, what do the AIs start with? Or rather, what do the miners provide us? Okay, Switzerland and Italy provide timber. Denmark, same thing. Germany, my goodness. Okay, wool and iron available there. Wool and horses. No copper, no tin. Lots of timber. My goodness. <laughs> Lots of timber. That's interesting. But that's actually a good thing. Uh, that should hopefully slow down the AI more than it will slow down us. Because we won't be able to purchase these resources. We can't afford it. We can't afford to do anything with the minor nations for a very, very long time. As for the major powers, what do they produce? I mean, on turn one, you can actually see if they start with any resources. It'll show in major exports. And, well, okay. Holland starts with some timber. That's the only major power that actually starts with something. What about their capital sites? Should I be afraid? Oh, good god. Okay, of course. Holland, our neighbor produces six grain that's let's see six seven eight nine and ten meat from the get-go oh good god they're gonna be scary they're gonna be really scary neighbors and they have a little bit of forest they have sheep hills they have tons of mountains yeah they're gonna be scary really scary Stockholm nine grain and five meat not quite so scary but still Pretty beefy. And they have resources nearby. Most likely re metal resources in the mountains there. Uh, Spain is not looking to be quite so scary. They only start with three food each. Actually four. There is a grain farm there. So six, six grain in total. And six meat because of the coastline. Okay, they do still start with more food than us. Grumble. Okay, uh, what about Lisbon? They also start on a grain farm, I think. Don't they? I think they do. So that would be six grain, six, seven meat. Yeah, they're also better than us. London, same thing, six grain and seven meats. They all have more food than us. They'll all have a larger workforce, which also means a larger army since you have to feed the army in this game. Yeah, things aren't looking good already. <laughs> Uh, but every, of course, every cloud has a silver lining. We'll get to that in a moment. As you can see, they like each other way more than like us. So, chances are they'll ally each other like crazy. They won't ally us. 
All the minor nations like them better than they like us. Same thing is true for the New World natives. So we'll see. As for Tex, as you can see, they have discovered everything. That's why we have the flags there. Uh, we are gonna go with... Let's see. Beeline Tex. I need to beeline or close to beeline. One tech they don't have yet. Let's see if we can find it. I know you're here somewhere. Maybe I should go to army, that would probably help. Horse artillery. That one. We need to see which text we can get to that one. We're gonna need horse artillery. As soon as we have that, we have a chance. If we can get there. Usually I'm killed before I get this tech, so yeah. <laughs> That's what we're looking at. I'm gonna go with those two and the fluid. Because that will actually be useful to us. As we, we're not gonna find anything, we can't afford that anyway. But on the bright side, since we're this far behind in tech, we're gonna just passively get the techs. At a reasonable pace. I mean, this is gonna take like 20 turns to get these techs, but still. It isn't all that unreasonable. We're gonna be far behind the AIs until we are able to set up an economy. And I don't think we can do that before the dog pile. Time will tell. Okay, let's start and see how this goes. Even with advanced knowledge, I'm not sure that's gonna suffice. No, damn it, I screwed up, didn't I? I screwed up. I forgot to put in bid orders. You see, on turn one, and that's the only turn, turn one you're actually able to buy stuff. Because the AIs won't bid on anything. And I didn't do that. Damn it! Ugh. So I missed incredibly valuable resources. Didn't take long for me to screw up this game. <laughs> Generate, there's a tin. But yeah, I had to go and check to verify that I had at least one iron, well, at least one bronze, and at least one copper. Other, we, um, if I don't have those three sources, we are, we wouldn't be able to play. So, yes, I'm cheating. Uh, we're not gonna make more paper, obviously. We are gonna make another cast iron and another timber, I think. I would like to make another bit of wool, but we can't because we don't have access to it. Damn it, it so irks me that I didn't buy anything the first turn. Screwed up that one. Train that next explorer, and that's gonna be it. Oh good lord, thank goodness, Scotland actually still offers us some resources. As you can see, we're dead last. We're gonna be dead last all the time. Because I can't afford trade consulates, I can't afford any kind of thing. But yeah, we could buy at least one of them. Yay! And you probably should buy timber. We won't be able to buy iron. Three is a bit much, but uh, let's try that anyway. Yeah, timber is not going to be an issue. Everybody's going to sell us timber. They're already establishing consulates, embassies, everything. Okay, coal. That's good. But I know there's a cast iron somewhere up in this mess. I'm going to need to find it. I'm going to keep going this way. You connected that, that's excellent. Um, we're gonna need to connect the sheep. Yeah, let's connect that sheep. Let's see how that goes. And then keep going into the new world, let's see what we can find. So, in the new world, we're gonna be hopelessly far behind there as well. Especially if we don't get more sheep. Yeah, we need these resources so we can feed our builders. Poor, poor. Yes, I know we're poor. Uh, we have one unit of timber already. I'm gonna buy three units of timber. Build up a little bit of a stockpile. And no more timber. Damn it, we're not allow no longer allowed to get the sheep either. There's the cast iron, and there, good. And let's see if we can find that copper deposit. It's somewhere down here. Need to find it. And connect it. Uh, keep making that road. Okay, we have a shoreline. Let's go and see. I need that sheep so badly. 
without that we'll be kind of screwed. Still have a bit of a warehouse, our cash flow is going down, but still buy that those three units. We're never going to be able to buy that cast iron unit, That's, there's only one unit available on the whole damn map, so yeah. It's going to be, the bidding war is going to be quite frantic for that one. Okay, we found tobacco, cotton, sugarcane, and more embassies. Okay, there's the copper. Okay, now we know at least one deposit of all the resources, which is what I absolutely needed. Um, let's just explore the rest of the mountains here, near the road. Okay, you finished that. We are definitely going to improve the cast iron next. What kind of a shoreline did we see? Some timber. Okay, a sugar there. That's a lot of the coastline. Again, the AIs will find the gold and diamonds and all that stuff before we ever get close. Now we're transporting one wool, so now we're at least somewhat sufficient there. Self-sufficient. And we're running out of iron ore, so that's gonna be very, very useful. Mm hmm. Next. We are gonna buy more timber. And no more. Okay, there we go. And that's a popular province, because the Portuguese went there first. And the Spanish also tried to get the dot sign darn thing. So Portugal got there first. There's bound to be something good there. Found some spices. More trade. Um, let's see what's deeper in the mountains here. Or up in the hills here. We'll just explore this area. We're gonna make that road. Let's see what did we find. I go to the next province and we can have a look. Okay, that's a fair bit of cotton. That is in a separate province, yeah. Some spices. Are these in separate provinces? Yes, there's a province boundary here. We're trying to find one rich province, really. Um, and then we're gonna see if we can cobble together an army to go there. Wait, aren't we transporting our unit of wool? Oh, the, we didn't have the road there yet. Now we do, so, okay. Next turn we'll have that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be so far behind. I'm so afraid of the dog pile. Oh, now you offer us. We're definitely gonna buy that. Um, buy one unit, no more. Okay, must be something valuable there then. Capital of the Thai now. Uh, this and then the swamp. Let's find out what's there. Okay. Given the scarcity of cast iron, I think we're gonna go for that first. Prove that. What did you find here? Ooh. That's a nice capital. And this province also has sugar. Tobacco, sugar, lots of timber. Okay, to the south. Nothing overly exciting. I'll get go keep going this way. But that Araba capital is interesting. Yeah, we're out of iron, which is what we expected would happen. And that puts us at a bit of a bind. Um, okay, connect like this. Next turn we'll be able to recruit people, and then we'll have to do whatever we can to cobble together an army. Yeah. We'll see. Um, no more purchases, we can't afford anything. Sweden landed down there, okay. Embassy with the Iroqua. Damn it! An embassy? And more cast, more iron. Okay. So we do want to connect that one too, but uh, not right now. 
Next priority is food. Food and potentially this copper. Let's see, go like this maybe. That's three instead of two. But it will connect you to at least two grain, three grain farms. And we also need these cattle ranches. So a road from there afterwards. Gah. Doing great, return to Paris. We'll figure out what to do. Let's see, what did we find in this province? We found not much that was interesting. Keep. Oh, did I. They tell you to go there, right? Where'd you go? Where'd the fleet go? Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Recent orders. Don't patrol, keep moving. Yeah, keep making one more of those. Start making more bronze. Recruit more people. Oh, good lord, we're so far behind. It's terrifying. Can't afford to buy anything. Spain is up there. No, okay, England decided to invade. Must be something good up there. Capital of the Cherokee. Ouch. Ouch. So you're telling me I didn't receive resources this turn? Well, that sucks. Yeah, I didn't receive resources. <sighs> Random events. Boo. Okay. Um, yeah, this I think. Let's keep exploring the mountains, see what we can find. You are not going to do anything. I think. Can't afford it. I need to improve resources more than I need to improve you. Um, let's see, what do we need first? The wool or the timber. The wool. We can buy the timber, it's going to be frightfully expensive, but we can buy it. Let's see what to define down here. Okay, the capital of the Cherokee. Okay, that's fine. What did you find? Oh! Is this the same province? Where's the province boundary? there, right north, north of the sugar. So this province has two sugar, two tobacco, spices, two cotton. Yeah, that's the goody province, and right next to this lovely capital. Yeah, this is where we're gonna land. Uh, how many turns before I have an army? Yes, yeah, we're gonna just prepare a land bombardment there. I don't think we're gonna find anything better than that. If we can only hold one province, I think that one's, that one's gonna be the keeper. Because that's going to allow us to build up our industry, I think. At any rate, we're going to make more bronze. That's all the resources we have. Uh, I would love to make more cloth. I need one more unit of cloth. Can't make this this turn. Can't make cast iron. <sighs> Fair industrial rating now. So let's see now, the guys that we were talking about here, the weather Taino, right? Yeah, that's the capital we found. And they're not dealing with them yet. So far behind the pay, guys. It's terrifying. And it looks like they're gonna be fighting over Scotland and Italy. For the most part, which I'm fine with. Sweden landed down there, Holland there, Spain hasn't landed yet. Not sure what they're waiting for, but... Uh, we'll see. Okay, we can buy timber, but I'm not gonna. Sweden is expanding. Okay, 
Okay, the Pueblo are definitely gonna be protected. Whatever they are. Okay, another cast iron. Let's keep exploring mountains. We can't afford to build anything with you, so that's fine. You just sit tight. So now we're finally eating all the food. Let's see. Next turn we'll be able to make another unit of cloth. And after we have that cloth, we'll be able to make armies. Yes, I think so. Uh, make the cast iron. And more. I just try to process the resources we have. Industrial rating. Good. Uh, I don't know about that, but uh, oh well. That's actually terrifying, actually, because if I have a rating of good, means that the AIs have converted workforces into armies. We can always check the books, by the way. Let's see. Uh, isn't it here? Status. Yeah, overall ranking. We are dead last. Not su no surprise there. Labor strength. It's the numbers are so small right now. So interior strength was it? Never mind. Diplomacy strength, yeah, we're going to be far behind. Military strength, we're not that far behind, but we're still able poor. And they good. So, yeah. Merchant Marine. Now this one surprises me. Why do I have a larger Merchant Marine? As far as I know, we start with the same Navy size. They must have used their fleet for, uh, trans uh, for exploration then. That could be it. Exports, yeah, we don't have that. The others are exporting like crazy. Uh, industry, yeah, we're far behind. Labor force, we're, oh, we're on par with Spain. So Spain also has just six workers. The others are ahead. Overseas profits, nobody's established anything like that yet. Technological, yeah, that was a given. We're gonna be far behind the whole game. We shall see how this goes. I am not optimistic, but I'm gonna keep playing until I'm dead, which shouldn't take all that long. Once the dogpile happens, we're dead. Uh, but until then, uh, we'll see. And if the dogpile happens, I'll try this again, maybe, if you want to see that. But then I'll change one rule, namely the one with uh, the AI aggressiveness. I'm gonna switch it over to a developer game instead of uh, the other things, and just see if the game, if, uh, if the AI will let me live at that point. But at any rate, we're gonna keep going with this one, regularly, not impossible with France. Probably won't go well, but time will tell. Time for a break though. Thank you for watching.